Hey kids, what time is it? That's right, it's Kids Zone O'Clock. Pastor Adam here, and I'm so excited to be with you today. We're going to open up this mystery box. We're going to do a craft together. We're going to sing a song together. It's going to be a great time. I hope you're as excited as I am. Uh, it, this is going to be so much fun that you might even invite your parents to join you. They, they might really enjoy this. So uh, we've got this mystery box here today, and if you haven't put something in a mystery box yet, you need to call uh, the church office and talk to Miss Catherine, talk to Miss Kim, tell them you want to put something in the mystery box that I can open and check out as long as it's something that, you know, it, it's not alive or was alive. That's the only rule. You can put anything in here. It's, it's a lot of fun. We can, we can talk about it together. But today's mystery box is from Josiah and Jeremiah Simpson, and I'm excited to see what they put in the box. What do you, what do you think it is? It's, it rattles around a little bit. It doesn't make much noise, though. I don't know. What do you think it is? Miss Catherine, guess what? Josiah and Jeremiah showed up tonight, and they have a mystery box item. Oh, cool! I'm so excited. You guys excited? Yeah! Yeah. Awesome! What'd you bring, guys? What'd you bring? We bring this. Let's show show this cabinet. What is that? Oh my! Sludge! Sludge! That is so cool. Sludge. All right, we'll put it in that mystery box. So, what in the world do you think Pastor Adam is going to talk about? When he finds that in the box. Styro sludge. I think maybe, he cool. talk, maybe he talk about how like how the sins are released. Like how Ooh. when sins come, like you pour the sludge out. Oh. oh. And then when Jesus died for us, you put it back in. Gotcha. Mm. So does sludge get bigger when you open it up? No, um, no. No, you can just um, roll it up. Roll it up? Oh. And then you can like pull it and go really long. Ah, what were you thinking about? I was thinking about the first time I um, felt it. I felt like um, go, go, go. it kind of revealed like Jesus, he died for us. All of it went out and he, re- he, um, He um, was alive again, mm-hmm. and it came back up. Mm-hmm. I, I think they. I love that. Yeah. Need Adam. When, I know. When, you when, guys you, did you great. Just, you know, when, it, when it breaks, it's like how how Jesus cut us. Mm-hmm. Like, okay. Us. <laughs> awesome. Well, can you do me a favor? Yeah. Can you wave to everybody in kids zone? Hi. Say hi. 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 Oh, thank you guys, thank for, you guys for doing that. Y'all are awesome. awesome. Very good. See you next time. All right. Well, let's open it up and see what's inside. Oh, okay. We've got some styro sludge. Styro sludge. And it's not open yet, so I'm not going to... It is open. Oh, oh, styro sludge. This is so neat. It's like... Foam, but also some slime. It's like slime, foam. I don't know what to describe it as, but it is really interesting. It feels so strange in my hands. And I'm I'm mixing it up here. I don't want to get it too mixed up because this is not mine and I don't want to mess it up for anybody else. But I just, this stuff's really, really unique. You know, today is a unique day in the life of our church, in the life of, of, of this year, and, in, and just kind of in the way that we celebrate together. Today is a day we call Palm Sunday. And just like, I didn't really expect to find styro sludge in this box. Sometimes I don't think we expect exactly what happens on Palm Sunday. On Palm Sunday, we remember that Jesus rode into Jerusalem and people, people gathered around and they shouted, Hosanna, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna. Lord, save us now. And they expected that Jesus was going to do something really unique, really different. They thought Jesus was going to work in this certain way. They thought that Jesus was going to come in and and he was going to become king and everything was going to be great and they were all going to live happily ever after and everything was going to be just the way they they thought it should be. But that's not exactly what happens. 
something different happens. Jesus gives himself up for us there in Jerusalem. He rides in and people are like, yay, Jesus is going to be king. And Jesus is a different kind of king. He's the kind of king that gives himself away for us, who gives himself on the cross for us. And the biggest surprise is next Sunday. See, something that they didn't expect at all happens. Jesus is crucified, buried. And next week on Easter, we celebrate the fact that Jesus didn't stay in the tomb. That Jesus came out and and in such a unique way, in such a different way, in a way that we never thought about, just like this unique slime stuff just kind of threw me for a loop. Jesus comes back. Jesus is risen. And so this week, as we begin to think about this different week, this week we call Holy Week, I hope you'll think about how different this week is, how unique it is, how it feels to you to walk through this week and think about what Jesus did for each and every one of us. How he went to the cross, but he rose again. How he's not the kind of king that we might want, but he's the king that we need. And so I hope you'll think about that this week. Think about how that feels. Think about what you might do with that reality. I hope you'll live into it. I hope you'll accept it. I hope you'll love the fact that Jesus gave himself for each and every one of us. And that he proved that he was the kind of king we need by coming back, by being resurrected by God's great power. Will you pray with me? Hey, God, thank you for this cool styro sludge. Thank you for all of the amazing things that you make in this world. And, and God, thank you for surprises, things that we didn't expect. But God, sometimes we just really needed to experience them. We needed to feel things that are a little different. We need to feel things that are, are unique. We need to feel things that we don't totally understand fully. God, we know that your son, Jesus, came in as a king, but not the kind that we thought. And so, God, we pray that we would let Jesus come into our hearts in the same way he rode into Jerusalem, and that we would accept him as our king, make him Lord of our lives, because he gave himself for us. And we can take, we can take, we, we can take peace in that, We can have peace in that reality. That God can be king of our lives through his son Jesus, who overcame death for us. God, we pray we would celebrate well this week, that we would feel all of the different feelings of Holy Week, and that we would know that you are good, that your son Jesus came for us. Pray all of this in his name. Amen. All right, kids, I'm going to play with uh, this styro sludge for a few minutes, and I hope you guys have a great Holy Week, and I hope you have a great Easter. We'll see you then. Hey, everybody. I'm so glad you've joined us today for Kids Zone O'Clock. It's Palm Sunday, so I hope you will take the time to wave those palm branches and shout Hosanna and celebrate the beginning of Holy Week. As you know, throughout Lent, we've been adding another piece to our cross each week. Last week, we added the nails to our cross. Today, we're going to add two more things. We're going to add dice and a sign. Now, the dice are because once they hung Jesus on the cross, the the soldiers gambled um, or played games to win Jesus' clothes. They were still making fun of him. In fact, the sign they hung up on the cross after they nailed him to the cross said, King of the Jews. And you'll remember, they didn't really believe he was the king. They totally missed it. They didn't know who he was. They were still making fun of him. So those are the things that we're going to add today. You can find dice from maybe an old game. Um, I have some giant dice um, that we're putting on the studio cross. Whatever you can find to remind you um, of what happened to Jesus just before Easter. And then, of course, the sign. You can just write uh, a sign on a piece of paper, a piece of cardboard, um, or even write on your cross. 
let me know how it looks. I'd love to see him. Well, as I said, it's Palm Sunday, and I hope that you will walk through every single day of Holy Week with us as a family. It starts today at our campground. We'd love to have you join us for Palm Fun Day. Out at the campground today at two, all kinds of activities, and you can pick up a bag that will help you walk through Holy Week. There's something different to do each day of the week, and you'll remember a lot of the stories throughout Holy Week because of all the things that we've been adding to our cross. So I can't wait to see you back on Easter Sunday when we'll celebrate our risen Lord. Happy Palm Sunday. See you next time. Everybody say hey, hands in the air with a wave, lifted to the one who can say. Everybody say Hey, hands in the air with a wave Lift it to the one who can say To the son who was done with the grave Oh, send it to his name Hey, hands in the air with a wave Lift it to the one who can say To the son who was done with the grave Oh, send it to his name Everything said, yeah, everything he said Was true, he never lied but for sin, died and rose again Now he's at the Father's side Oh, everything said, yeah Everything he said was true He never lied Took the punishment for sin Died and rose again So we could be alive So everybody say hey Hands in the air with a wave Lift it to the one who can say To the son who is done with the grave Rosanna to his name Hey, hands in the air Say hey